Reference angles. There's so much information about angles, I swear you're excited. <laughs> A reference angle. A couple things here. It is, this is the definition. It's an acute positive angle formed by the terminal side of an angle and the x-axis. And we're talking about terminal side and standard position. I probably didn't write that in there on purpose. Okay. So ultimately, these have, we have four different cases. We've got four quadrants, so we've got four different cases. Your terminal side is going to land somewhere between 0 and 360 degrees, okay? And if it's a quadrantal angle, then it does not have a reference angle because quadrantal angles are special. So if your angle lands in quadrant 1, then that is the reference angle. If it lands in quadrant 2, then you're just going to find the supplement, so 180 minus A. If it lands in quadrant 3, you're going to take your angle minus 180 because your angle will probably be bigger than 180. And then again in quadrant 4, okay? You'll see on the side here I have a separate slide here because I'm going to show you an example of each one of the cases. So here we've got case 1. And I'm just going to call it quadrant one. Okay, so I'm going to draw a quick little sketch here. And so here's quadrant one. Silly me. And here's my terminal side to my angle. So here is angle A. And this is an acute angle. It's positive when I go in this direction. And so it is the reference angle, period. Okay, so A is the reference angle. Quadrant two. So here's, here's my coordinate plane. Here's an angle that lands in quadrant two. Okay, so the reference angle is going to be this one right here. So this is your reference angle, I'm gonna call it alpha. So here is your A, and here is your reference angle. If you need to, what you're going to do is you're going to find alpha, the reference angle. That's going to equal 180 minus A. Period. That's your reference angle. When we have quadrant 3, okay, here's your coordinate plane. Here is our angle. Here is A. The reference angle, remember it's going to be the acute positive angle that is formed by the terminal side and the x-axis. Okay, so in this case, alpha is going to equal A minus 180. Because if A is positive, A is going to be greater than. Now the difference here, you have to remember when angles are negative, the reference angle is always considered positive. Always, always. So then we have quadrant four. Here's your reference angle. Here's A. To find the reference angle, alpha, you're going to take 360 minus A. Now, in quadrants 2 and 3, I always say in quadrants 2 and 3, what takes it to 180? All right, so you'll hear me say this sometimes. 
Boy, I can't even spell what. <laughs> All right, so I'll, I'll ask that. For quadrants two and three, what takes it to 180? For quadrant four, I asked, you know, I'm like, what takes it? To 360. All right. So those are kind of things to think about. In quadrant one, it is its own reference angle, period. Okay. So what are we going to do with this? We are going to find the reference angles for the following. I'm going to do a few, and then I'm going to pause it and tell you to do a few. So I'm going to do one, two, and five. And I'm going to let you do three and four. So when you're finding the reference angle, here's 120 degrees. This is going to be in quadrant two. That's the first thing I think of when I think of uh, the angle here. I'm like, oh, this is in quadrant two. So therefore, I've got to figure out what's going to take 120 to 180. Oh, so 180 minus 120 equals 60. You know, if you can do that in your head, pretty pleased by that. So go ahead and do those in your head if you can. Now, this one's a negative angle. This is negative 135. Sometimes it might be helpful to draw them out. Okay, so remember, this is negative 90. This is negative 180. So negative 135 lands somewhere here. So that's a third quadrant angle. Now, you could leave it in its negative form and try to work with it from there. And it's in quadrant three, so I gotta think about what's gonna take it to 180, okay? Well, 135 to 180, that would be a negative 45 degrees, but the reference angle is not negative. So, cross out the negative, your reference angle would be 45 degrees. Okay, if you don't like thinking about it that way, what you could do is find the coterminal angle. So I've got negative 135. If I add 360 to it, that's going to be positive 225. Yep, positive 225. And then you can go back to that other method and think, oh, what well, will take 225 to 180? So I'm going to take 225, in this case I'm going to subtract 180, and that's where we get 45 degrees. So if it's positive or negative, you kind of got to be able to switch your thinking, or you just have to add a step, okay? If you can switch your thinking and think about it in the terms of the negative angle, great, it'll be quicker for you. If not, then add that extra step, find the positive angle that it is coterminal with, that's this one here, and then go from there. And then the next one I said I was gonna do is number five. Number five is an angle that's greater than 360. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna find an angle that's coterminal with it that is between zero and 360. So I'm gonna take 535 and right off the bat, I'm gonna subtract 360 from it. So when I subtract that 360, and I know I misspoke now that I listen to myself and think about what just came out of my mouth. I'm going to take that 543 and subtract the 360, and it's going to be 183 degrees. Oh, 183 degrees, what quadrant is that in? That's going to be in quadrant 3. So then the next thing I ask, I'm like, what takes it to one? All right, back where we were, 183 degrees is this one. This one ends in quadrant three. Darn it, I'm supposed to use Roman noodle, numerals, Roman noodles, ramen noodles. Ah, sorry, there's my brain being crazy again. <laughs> anyway, since it's in quadrant three, you ask yourself what'll take it back to 180. Quadrant two and three, remember, what'll take it to 180? Well, 183, you can do that in your head. Three degrees is the reference angle. That is what will take it to 180. Thank you.